like I say, you know, it's your own personal choice if you can shop there. I, I choose to shop there, and I and I, and I will utilise um, their customer um, services to the full effect. You know, I'm not accepting stuff that's, that's not right. Well, if I go walk into the shop and bought it, it's fucked. Then that's my own fault. But when you buy it online, you're buying blind. That said, I built a uh, got a bit of credit with them. I'm going to sneeze it. So I've got some, I've got some games. Uh, I've come to this one first because this has been consuming last week so much of my time, and it's Alex um, Nintendo Arcade's fault. He showed this on his DS. He's been playing this on his DS. I don't know, free guess or whatever. I know nothing about it, and uh, he explained it's a bit like Minecraft. I've never really played Minecraft. The kids play it, but the the elders plays it. Uh, and I've seen it at CX, but I'll have to give it a go. And it's Terraria. So it is essentially a, a sort of side 2D version of Minecraft, for, for want of a better word. And it's bloody addictive. I, I, I don't know, I, I mean, hours, hours have gone by just digging on this. And it reminded me there was a game and I can't think where, where I played, I'm sure it was on the PC. I don't know if it was like a Facebook -y type game or, or what. Um, but it was like a mining game, you just used to build mine shafts and just mine stuff. It was really sort of therapeutic about it, I think. Um, but this takes a while to. Because the control mechanism's a bit fiddly. Um, but I've got the hang of it, and yeah, it is, it's a bloody good game. It's massive. Abs the map's huge. Um, but yeah, if you're not really into sort of mi the Minecrafting, but you want to sort of dabble a little bit, then yeah, Terraria. It's Terraria. Yeah, Terraria's a good little game that is. Now, one that I picked up uh, last Friday, I think it was. I haven't played it yet. Excuse me. There's a bit to do around this when it first came out. I know a lot of people playing it online and, and, and whatnot. And it, it, it's of, of a universe that um, I'm quite familiar with. It's not a game that I've ever played. But I thought, you know what, I've got to, like, again, I've got a bit of credit. I'll give it a go and I may, managed to make sure that I've got like the, I guess it's like a game of the year edition. And it's Diablo, Reaper of Souls. So it's like a dungeon crawler hack and slash. Bit like um, Baldur's Gate. I know. I'm sure it's Woodland. Woodland quite likes that. It's always something in my mind. Of, you know, I must get that. I must get it. Every time I've seen it in the shop, it's always just been a standard Diablo. Uh, but what's in the CX and that was the only one they had on, on the shelf. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> so I did. And then these next ones are all online. Uh, those two I've actually bought in, in store. These ones are all, all online. So. Which ones did I get together? Um, I just made it better. No, I bought this with Zelda. I bought this with Zelda and some else. Oh, um, a DVD for the daughter. And uh, so this game, and obviously Zelda went back. This game nearly went back, but I said to God, I don't mind if you do X, Y, and Z, I'll be happy then. Uh, and to be fair to him, he even refunded me my postage because I ended up buying. If he took this back, I would have bought a DVD for the same cost as the postage. Who sound like that, but the game is Harvest Moon on the PlayStation. I've swapped the case out on this, I think I have anyway. Did I swap the case? I oh, can't remember. Maybe I need, oh, oh, I can't remember now. Or did I clean it? I can't think. Oh, yeah, don't need them. But the manuals, bloody, I'll tell you what, there's not many PlayStation manuals that. That look like they've been used, and this does look like it's been used. Like people have read it, which is amazing. <laughs> but yeah, I have Moon, uh, One for Live Special Edition. I'm guessing it's the same as uh, the Cube version. I don't know, but um, yeah, you know, the, you know the the IPs that that are interesting. It wasn't I think it's about eight quid. Hmm. The reason why I took that back into the shop was the disc had like a right, it had a burn all the way around it. 
And the guy went, ooh, what's it? And he goes, it could have happened in transit. I was like, <laughs> what, perfect circle? He just laughed, he went, yeah, probably not. So, but he, what he did, he just buffed it there and then for me, and I was happy. I got my refund on uh, Zalda and then my postage, so it was all good. All good in the hood. Like the next two I've got together in the pack, this one has gone up. Oh, hang on, sorry. This one's gone up in price. Well, I've gone up in price. The CEX. And I should have bought it at the lower, lower end. But I just didn't have any funds at the time. She sods a little bit. I thought, fuck it, buy it now. I think it's only going to go one way. Uh, the price dropped because it was released on um, the Wii store. Or the Wii U store, one or two there. I don't know. Well, the other games that I've got there. I'd had my own again for a while. Not cheap, about 18, 19 quid. Uh, it's Magna Carta. So another RPG. All the, all the big hits on the PlayStation 2. RPGs. That's a great condition, it's all there. It's what you want. It's what you want. I don't really know much about this, to be honest. It's RPG. So the one that's gone up in price, it was 30 quid. It's either 40, I think it's sure it's 40 quid now, is uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy. I finally got it. I should have bought it when it's 30 quid. Um, it, it, it's all there, it's all fine. It did have the outer sleeve. I don't know if you can see. It's just a little, it had like dirt running along there. I've swapped the, um, the actual Wii box as well. Because this it had like that weird Wii scuffing dirt going on the go. But it's, everything is, is there, it's absolutely complete. It's even got the points somewhere. The points. Unused points, and it's even got like a sad um, Metroid Prime trilogy type booklet. So, yeah, 100% complete. So, it could have been, you know, maybe if I bought one of the 30 pound ones, I don't know how many had in stock, I'm pretty sure they had like a fair off chunk. They may not have been as good, yeah, they may have been missing bits, may not have had the, the out sleeve, all that kind of shizzle. This isn't in bad condition at all. I'm, you know, I'm more than happy with this. So it needed a bit of a wipe over, and um, the actual Wii box itself swapping, but and basically this is regarded as the best um, Metroid on the Wii. So I've got them all now. So, I'm on, a, you know, I, I, I've mentioned this before, <coughs> I'm on a couple of the Facebook pages, mainly like the collectors, specific collector pages, like the Sega ones. I know that Pete is admin on there, Sega Galaxy. Uh, there's another one, Sega, Sega and more and more and more, whatever. I'm on a couple of Nintendo ones, not many Nintendo ones. There's no, I don't know, so I might better school me yet. I didn't seem to be able to find a Nintendo UK or Europe one. They, they all seem to be like Nintendo is on. The world, like the global, world, like America people and stuff like that, uh, which you know doesn't bother me too much. Worked out quite good actually, I think, in this case. So there's a chap there in, in the states, have where he's from now. Indiana, Lowell, Indiana, um, and he had a load of games that he was he was selling. Um, and contrary to popular belief, I don't think all Facebook pages run the same way. Uh, I'm not going to go into it, but yeah, some people just fucking... I don't know. But suffice to sort of say, he marked it as a gift, but I don't know if he's not very well schooled in it, but he didn't he didn't devalue it, so I did get hit by customs. Um, I think to the tune of about, about 20 quid. Um, so bump the actual overall cost of these up a little bit. If I've got them at the roughly 20 quid less uh, there would have been an absolute fucking bargain at the minute I think they've run to about I know this can't be games with that just over a tenner each it, you know that's shipped from the states with the fucking customs uh, whereas before they would have been well below a tenner but never mind I'll show you the games 
Uh, I made a bit of a cock up, I think, on one because I already got it. Well, two I've already got, but I thought I might as well grab it in the bundle. Uh, I'll show you the video on now. Console. On the states. Um, as you can see, freaking charge. Customs fee to pay 21 quid. Uh, I think it was about 18 or 17 percent, isn't it, of the value? So, yeah, fair chunk of change uh, in terms of the value in here. Uh, one downside is when I collected it, the stuff was rocking and rolling in there. I, I'm, I don't think there's even any new. I don't think there's any, even any newspaper around it. I'm hoping nothing's been damaged. So, oh shit, man! Fucking hell! All over the states like that. <laughs> right. You'll see him on the video. Let's just see if anything's if everything's on there. So as you can see, the packaging was absolutely dreadful. I couldn't believe it when I picked when the guy in the post office passed me the box. It was like chunk chunk. I was like, what the fuck? So again, I don't think he's very well schooled in sending or selling anything. Completely out of his depth. So I just said to him, why don't you just? Fill it with shit, like newspaper, anything, just to stop them rattling around. But he was very nonchalant, he went, oh, they turned up alright, didn't they? I thought, well, yeah, that's not the point. I mean, to be fair though, these have all come away from Indiana. If you send stuff fucking 100, 100 miles, not even that, 20 miles down the road with some uh, with raw mail or anything, this bo box is absolutely battered. And it's, to be fair, they've come through this the final way from the States, so. I don't know, it's just going to show you. So I don't know what you've seen or what you didn't see in the video, because I can't recall how it, what it looked like, but I'll go through the games anyway. Here's the box. That's what they come like. Just in there, just rattling around. <laughs> um, I'll take them out of the box and then we'll just go quickly go through them. I say a couple of these I've got. Um, one or two I've grabbed because I thought, you know what, for the overall price, it's fucking win-win. Um, sort these out. Again, if you looked at them um, as an overall cost, some of these aren't worth 10 quid, clearly, okay? But some are worth more and it all kind of offsets itself. Right. So I'm just trying to sort them in terms of. ones that I've got. So, 12 games, all NTSC um, U. So, nice sleeves, that one's not going to stay in the sleeve. Dig Dug 2, which I do have, I completely cocked up there. I don't know why, but I've got Dig Dug 2. So if anyone needs a copy or wants a copy of Dig Dug 2, let me know. I'm going to keep that sleeve. There is one that should be in the sleeve that's not in the sleeve. There we go. Um, the other one that I have got is Turtles 2, the arcade game. Again, the beauty of the Retron. Whatever you might think about it. I don't have to worry about fucking regions. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, it's still a great game, that is. Gallagher. I was aware of the, the rip on the on the sleeve. Again, this is probably this is not a ten pound game. This is probably about an eight pound, seven pound game. Um, but still, to anything with stakes, yeah, it might be seven or eight quid. But when you add in, start adding the shipping and whatever, you know, it, price goes double. Um, so I'm just sort of skimming across the sort of more. Nah, Turtles ain't the cheap title, but you know what I mean. But one that I was very interested in getting, because I do love this franchise, I've got the second one. Uh, this is like, I think these are unofficial, uh, the Tengen carts, it's Gauntlet. Sega AM2. So, you know, decent. Decent arcade port. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure it is on the on the, uh, on the NES. Now this is an interesting one. Didn't even know they did this. 
Matt, I know this is Matt Salford Retro is one of his favourite games, and he was he, he was after this at um, Wolverhampton and managed to find that for him. Was it was, was it Wolverhampton? Was it or was it Manchester? Oh shit, I can't remember now. But it, anyway, I didn't know they did a sequel. And it's Rad Racer Two. These all need clean. I haven't cleaned any of these up. Literally just been sat in the box for about a week or more. Uh, but yeah, Rad Racer Two. Don't know what it's like, but I thought, fuck it, might as well have it. Now we come down to the real, real choice titles now. So this is, you know, probably where the value comes in. Like I say, these haven't been cleaned, so no real particular order. Uh, Gradius, it's got the labels and shit. It does come with the manual. Yeah, so it needs a bit of a clean. I'm, there's nothing there that I don't think won't come off. I'm not sure how good a port that is. I've got Life Force Salamander. So that's a pretty good game. Oh, the coffee's going cold. Um, tough one now. I'll do these. These are classics. Absolute fucking classics. But I've got them. Um, but one of mine... The sort of, I don't know what we call it, the patina's come off it. Not the patina, because that's, that's the antique word. I don't, the, the covering, you'll see what I mean anyway. And I don't think I've ever seen one that's not been scuffed. It seems to be um, more easily damaged. They are, of course, the Zelda game. So, the OG Zelda, this is in great condition. I do have a PAL version, so I'm sure I do. Um, but that's in, that is in great condition. And then obviously you can't have one back to the the Zelda two, and as a, like I said, it's not the worst one I've seen, but it, it's just where that gold scratches off. So I wouldn't mind at some point. I wouldn't mind basically getting these boxes complete, but they're not. It's not a major one. Obviously, that's one I, I think I've got. I'm sure I've got that one, but the one I've got is a lot of the golds come off it. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can see it. Oh, it's up there. I'm not going to go and get it. So I was keen to get them too. Again, like I say, look, you know, Zelda's you can... So I pay, I'll tell you what I paid at the end anyway. Um, but yeah, Zelda's great games. So, sticking with RPGs, one of my, even as a kid, as a, as, as a young lad, um, I had the third one, which is when I really got into RPGs after, after Zelda. Um, I've told a story tons of time on the Super Nintendo. I paid 80 quid for this, this game. Um, got imported into a local indie store and played it to death but it was Final Fantasy 3 and you know reading Super Play and all that kind of stuff you always heard of like, the precursors to it but we never got them uh, not on, on the NES of course so it's none of Final Fantasy nothing just just a cart but again even the cart itself you know old decent about it and it's a great label Great condition, so it's so another one that I'd always been on the lookout. There's no UK release, there's no power release for it. Oh. Oh, I don't know if it's very fast ideas. There's one game that, I've, well, I mean, after all these games essentially, but one game that's always been, it always interested me. Uh, and I think it's from the, I'm gonna get this wrong. Cuneo Cub, Cuneo Cuneo, Cuneo Cub, basically the Renegade, Nuneo Cuneo, I think it's called. It's like the Renegade um, universe, like dodgeball and that. Someone else, someone will school me, uh, but it is other than River City Ransom. I'm sure it's something like that. Because that's what Renegade's based on. It's the same one. They obviously rebadged it all. Again, a, a, one that I've always been looking out for. I'm pretty sure if this, you know, was at, at a market, any of these games been there yesterday at Leeds, it would have been 30 quid each, probably maybe a little bit more, I don't know. Um, and I'll speak to Paul C about these, because I've got, I bought number two, uh, which he bought yesterday. I got number two in Manchester and I was looking for number one. Um, no one had it. Uh, and Rob, Triple Trino 7, fucking snaffled me to number three. At, uh, Blackpool last year 
but all, thi all things happen for a reason. So I've obviously Rob paid whatever I think it's from Warp Zone Gaming, so he's, he's probably paid what, what Ricky was selling it for. Within this bundle, you know, I don't give a shit because I've done really well. Um, so the first one of these games I was saying to Paul, see when I was looking online, just trying to sort of complete it, you know, uh, and work out what was what. It, it seems to go for more money than than, than the second one, uh, but it does seem more widely available. But obviously, everyone wants it, so it is. It isn't none of that. I have completed the Holy Trinity of Castlevania, and this is in fantastic condition. So the, the lab that was selling these, I think he said he just bought a massive job lot. It did appear to be uh, a US lizard shark, whatever you call it, because like I say, he didn't really have much clue in terms of um, posting stuff. Because when he offered me the price and then messaged me and I sort of said about marking it down, he said no. But apparently he got stung with postage and he was whining and moaning about that, which is why I don't think he was too bothered about me moaning about it. So, um, yeah, not very well, um, not, not a great deal of experience, I think. Um, but it worked into my favour and obviously to finish it off we've got Dracula's Curse again in fantastic condition I mean the PAL version of this is fucking 130 or some stupid money uh, even so some figures I was looking at one of these um, on eBay American you can only really realistically there's no point buying the UK one because it's stupid but even American 35 could bite now so 35 quid there, I think Castlevania 1 is is near as or around that figure um, as from the PAL. Yeah, it's NTSC. Again, doesn't bother me. So, you know, you're looking at that's 60 quid there. I think River City Ransom is probably about under 30 quid, 90 quid. Final Fantasy 20 quid. The two Zelda's, what, 25, 30 quid. Gradius, 20 quid maybe, I don't know. So these ones here, I'm not sure about Rad Race. I don't think Rad Racer, Gauntlet, Gallagher, or Dig Dug or, or, or anything. Eight quid maybe, something like that, I don't know. Uh, and Turtles is maybe about 15. I don't know what that adds up to. That's just me rough, rough balling it all out. Um, but I basically paid 100 and, 110 quid. I can't remember what it was in dollars. Um, that shipped to me direct, and I was like, fucking yes, I'm having it. Uh, subsequently, when it goes over a lot, I think it's about 100 quid and it's like 17 or 18% uh, import tax, so it's 20 quid. So 130 quid, that's what I say, worked it out, roughed it out to just over a tenner a game, which still in anyone's books is a good deal. Um, you know, even if you offset the sort of lesser titles, it, it's still worth it for the, for the big hitters like the Castlevanias and, and whatnot. So, yeah, I was happy with that. But yeah, there are deals to get out there. Sometimes you've got to take a bit of a risk um, as it goes to the States. But there we go. I'm going to clean them up now. <laughs> and maybe have a go on if I can keep my eyes open long enough. Um, that's it, guys. I've got a couple. couple got one, one game coming in the post. I don't know what's, what's doing out other than that. We'll see what happens. All right, take it easy. And I'll speak to you. Oh, YouTuber of the year. Because this will probably be too late for YouTube, the month of that probably be finished. Uh, YouTube of the year, go over, there, get voting, have a have a butchers, have a watch, get voting. You've got a week today, the seventh of Feb, I think I put on it. Seventh of Feb. Take it easy. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.